Hello there, YouTube. Well, I've been trying to make videos over the last week, but they've not come out great, so uh, I have made and deleted about ooh, four or five different videos in the last week, which is annoying, but uh, unfortunate. I've been getting a lot of migraines, um, and uh, I've now got these. Hopefully, they will uh, I'll stop the migraines, that was the idea. Uh, annoyingly, I've got these now. I thought these will hopefully stop the migraines. Um, I can see a little better. I'm actually a closer 2020 version even without them. Um, so it's largely to try and prevent headaches. Uh, it's not a bad idea. Unfortunately, I got these after um, multiple consultations and uh, the doctor's saying, you know what, we've checked out everything. We think that... Uh, we think that we're probably not going to go ahead with uh, with any kind of, uh, of surgery or anything along those lines because your vision is so good that any surgery performs any any surgery that we do any um, anything that we attempt to do will damage your eyesight. It it is going to make it worse. <clears throat> so anything that we do from this point on is going to be preventative from for later degradation. It's not going to repair anything. Now, I explained in a previous video, but I'll explain again. Uh, I have a detached retina in this eye from a, f a bad fall, where I hit my head when I fell in the bath. I was very lucky it wasn't worse. That very nearly made me go blind in this eye. And it it can get worse. It, it could easily get very worse very quickly. So, these glasses are for my current prescription. My most recent appointment, they uh, did uh, they did various different high uh, resolution photographs at the back of my eye, and um, the uh, optic you know the optical specialist said that he wants to go ahead and do surgery. So I'm going in for surgery, even though the last consultation said, you know what, we're probably just going to observe unless we see it getting worse. So I went and got glasses, thinking, well, we're just observing for a while. I may as well get the glasses. Now, these glasses, I'm going to need to replace them in about three weeks. So these will not be uh, will not be appearing all that often. Although I do intend to batch record a few a few videos now because I've got a load of video ideas I want to do. I'm having a good day. I'm not in a lot of pain today. I'm feeling uh, feeling fairly energetic. I'm going to record every video that I've been planning to record this week in quick succession. And I'm going to upload them as quickly as I can so that I can try to get something out. Because it's been seven days since I've put a video up and it's annoying me. It's annoying me that I don't have videos up. It annoys me that I can't be more regular. I, I understand that I have disabilities. I understand that I have chronic fatigue and chronic pain. But... It annoys me that I can't do these things. I can only imagine how much it must annoy people who are waiting on my videos. I know I don't have many viewers. I know I've only got you know, one and a half thousand subscribers. But I have people who watch me. I have people who are, who are sub uh, subscribers. I have people who are Patreon supporters. People who actually want to see these videos. They're not, there's not many, but there's at least a few of you. I can only imagine how annoyed you are. I'm annoyed and I'm the one making them. At least I know why they're not coming. I make videos and I say, oh yeah, I'll, I'll you know, make part one of a video. And I'll go, oh, the next part's coming in a week. Three, four months later, it's still not out. I made my first video in my um, my videos on 2D platformers ten months ago. And I said, I'll be recording the uh, the second part straight after. And put it up within a few days. I recorded the first part, I uploaded it, and I decided, you know what, I'll record the second part tomorrow morning. The following morning, I got a migraine, couldn't record. I ended up doing the editing, and that editing took me all damn day. Didn't have time to do any recording after that. I I ended up having a lot of trouble with the her with my hernias. Um, I had a lot of problems with, uh, with other issues back then. And... I just never found the time to record the second part. I was intending to record them back to back. I thought they'd be up within a few days of each other. It's been 10 months later. Part 2 has still not come out. It is so annoying. It drives me crazy. 
Um, I was doing um, the D&D videos, the uh, the ones where I was going to go through the player's handbook, uh, race by race and class by class. I stopped those because of the OGL. That's at least a good reason. But if I don't get those started, I could hang on to those for ages. They're really easy to do. I can sit here and just hold up, hold up the book, read through, describe what it is I want to do. There's very little... Uh, editing I need to do for that. It's not It's not one where I need to find gameplay footage. That should be easy. I should be able to do way more bookish videos. Um, bookish videos should be some of the easiest ones to do because it's just holding a book up and talking about the book. The problem with that is, in order for me to do that, I've got to read the damn book. I read nine books. Just nine books in, 20, in uh, uh, 2022. Um... I listened to a further four on audiobook. That's not enough. That's, that's what? Just over one a month. I can't make it. At this point, I'm running out of books to make videos on because I'm, I'm going back to books I read in my 20s. I made that video about the pseudo-intellectuals books. Those were all books that I read years ago, with the exception of one of them. I look at the uh, the books that I've read. And I'm like, I can't keep milking these for for uh, forever. Like, I can't make videos about you know a song of ice and fire forever. Like, not that I've made all that many videos about it to be honest, but that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm going to end up milking the same topics. So um, I, it is frustrating. I, but I'm I'm feeling better and I'm feeling good and energetic now. So I'm going to try and get some videos out and ready. Um, I do have a couple of updates. This is just a little update video, and it's not going to be the only video I put up because I am I have stuff ready to talk about right here next to me, and I'm going to record them all together, and I'm going to edit them all together, and I'm going to put them up all together. So if this video goes up, other videos will be scheduled to go up within hours of it. Um, I can promise you that. One thing I do have to say is uh, I have reached the uh, the milestone on YouTube uh, where I am now a YouTube partner. What this means is that my videos now get monetized. Now, I've switched monetization on because um, not having monetization on is a terrible, terrible idea on YouTube. If you don't monetize your videos, they don't appear as, uh, as often in the searches, which means that people don't find your videos as easily. Uh, you want to have your videos monetized because then more people are going to find them. They'll snowball. It's simple. It's... Uh, yeah, a simple thing. I'm not going to make loads of money on these. Like I've had, um, I've had monetization now for four days. Um, according to the you know, the statistics I've got, I am making approximately three pence per day. So this is not a career. <laughs> three three pence. I'm not joking. Three pence a day. It's it's. Um, it's so pathetic. I admittedly, I've not uploaded a video since, but I'm kind of just you know, cruising along at my normal daily you know, uh, amount. I'm getting around the 50 or so views a day for not having posted a video. And um, yeah, I'm, actually, it's probably a bit more than that. It's maybe about 100 uh, views a day. And uh, yeah, I'm getting about three pence for that. So that gives you an idea as to just how little I'm going to get. Uh, I would need to get thousands and thousands of views before it's going to matter. So each each video might be worth like when it goes up. Uh, given that I get what about a thousand views on a video if it does well, um, each video may be worth somewhere in the region of fifty p, <laughs> which is which is sad really. <laughs> like I could I could if I'm really really lucky and very efficient and I put up say four or five videos a week I might be able to make enough money uh, to uh, you know, buy myself I don't know, a Big Mac at the end of the month so <laughs> trust me when I say I'm not doing it for the money <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's happened uh, it's a pity I'd love to be able to do this for the money like if if YouTube, if I was able to make it big on YouTube, because I, I look at people who have made it big on YouTube, like Mr. Beast is a great example. Um, he was uh, he made a video recently, uh, which actually brings me back to my my issue with my eyes. Um, he made a video recently about um, 
curing people of blindness. He cured a thousand people of um, curable blindness. And it was only an eight minute long video. It was shorter than this video is likely to be. I don't know how long this video is, but it's, it's going to be longer than eight minutes because I ramble on like this. And um, he managed to explain everything and show different clips of all the different people, travel to multiple countries, um, have multiple silly little clips in. Um, and it was all only eight and, and a bit minutes long where he showed off curing a thousand people of blindness, giving away some money. I think it's fantastic that he does this. I know he's got some weird backlash on Twitter from a bunch of arseholes that seem to think that because he gives away money, that's a good excuse to blame him because governments aren't doing it for some reason. Um, notice most of them are Americans, and they want to blame the American government, even though this is a worldwide video, and he goes to countries like Indonesia, Mexico, um, Namibia. Like, he travels the world whilst doing this. Like, this is not an America-only video, but apparently it's the American government's fault for not paying for all this surgery. <laughs> yep. Your guess is as good as mine. Now, I'll admit that, you know, I think that this kind of surgery should be provided by, you know, a nationalised healthcare system. That's how I'm going to get it. Like, that's how I'm going to get surgery. It's not actually the same surgery. Uh, but that's how I'm going to get the, the surgery that I need uh, through an NHS. And I'm not paying for it. It's paid for by the government. And that's paid for by taxes. That is how it should be. I, I fully support that National Health Service is a good idea. Uh, but that doesn't undo the fact that Mr. Beast has you know, done all of this charity work and that he's, he's giving away loads of money to people who, you know, who need it, loads, loads of people whose life is made better by it, that there's a thousand people now who can see because of him. That's a great thing. So what if he also then makes a video and makes millions off it? Great. Good for him. He should. Philanthropy should be rewarded. Why shouldn't we reward someone for going, you know what, I'm going to show off about being a good person. Why shouldn't that be rewarded? Why shouldn't thank you be, pre uh, be presented with a massive cash reward? I think that's a good thing. So yeah, so what if he makes, if he makes a video on it and that video makes him a load of money? good. I'm, I'm glad. People seem to think that because he's able to make money off his philanthropy, that makes it lesser. No. No, that makes it great. I think philanthropy should be able to make people money. More people would do it if it could. So yeah, that's my take on it anyway. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get on to the other videos and uh, leave this as a little channel update and um, uh, and a discussion on my, uh, my eyes and what's happening with... Uh, with the surgery, you will uh, you will likely see me with an eye patch in future videos. Um, you probably won't see these glasses for very many of them, but um, yeah. Uh, thanks for listening, and uh, I'm glad to be back into the swing of it. I know I say that a lot, but I feel like I keep leaving and coming back because I keep finding myself in these these fatigue driven ruts where I'll make three or four videos, but they don't end up uploaded because. They're really low energy, and I feel that they're badly made, or they run on for half an hour or more, and I feel that they're not worth uploading, that there's just there's not enough actual you know, intrigue in them. There's not enough of interest for the viewer, so I don't upload them, because they're just not worth your time. And let's face it, I don't want to waste your time anymore, but I want to waste my time. So yeah, that's, uh, that's how I'm feeling uh, for a lot of these videos. I want to try and get the fatigue under wraps, and I want to try and get it under control. Um, but it's um, it's an ongoing and chronic condition. It's one of those things I'm just going to have to learn to manage, I suppose. Wait, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.